what is cdk cdk first of all stands for cloud development kit it is a framework by aws that allows you to model and provision your cloud and application resources with familiar programming languages it supports various languages like typescript python java dotnet and go wait a second now when you actually look at infrastructure as code you might al already be wondering there are already a lot of frameworks available for example terraform ansible puppet solstack chef cloud formation to just name some of them and these are pretty famous ones and each one have got their own benefits uh, for example terraform by itself if you want to go with multi-cloud approach i don't think you can beat any other tool other than terraform but there is one common thing among all these frameworks they are all configuration languages so which means you might be defining some sort of config in the form of yaml file or in the form of json file and you know it's pretty hard to achieve programming paradigms in these config languages i'm not saying that you can't but it's not straightforward now this is where cdk is a little different because it's using the programming language pattern all the programming idioms like parameters conditionals loops composition and inheritance to model your system design from building blocks provided by aws is super easy building with high level constructs that automatically provide sensible and secure defaults for your aws resources defining modern infrastructure with less code it allows you to put your infrastructure and application code and all your configs in one place ensuring that every milestone you have a complete cloud deployable system unlike other systems where you have a config separate you have a code repository separate or application code separate this is one place where you can put it all together you can take a look at this high level diagram given by aws on the right side here you can see that your app code which is normally written in typescript javascript any of your language along with that your uh, along with your application code you can also define uh, stacks which is your cdk stacks which internally consists of constructs and a construct could consist of one or more aws resources provided by the cdk library or it can be a collection of these resources modeled together as a construct eventually all these constructs club together form a stack these stacks are eventually converted into an aws cloud formation template which is what is used to spin up your infrastructures in your aws account now this is going to be the actual hands-on session uh setting up cdk on your local machine in this section i'll be covering some prerequisites required before setting up cdk on your local system i'll also be sharing some of the common used programming ideas some pretty popular ones the actual cdk installation itself and i'll also be giving you some reference articles and workshops for you to get started with as i mentioned these are some of the prerequisites that are required before you actually start get started with your cdk installation on your laptop some of the things here are pretty clear uh, let's begin with the first one is the AWS CLI. You need to make sure you have your laptop installed with AWS CLI. And this article pretty much gives you the installation setup for both Windows as well as Linux based machines. That includes Mac as well. The second important thing to get started with is setting up your AWS account. By AWS account, uh, what I mean is your AWS profiles on your local laptop. And these profiles would mean your access IDs and secret keys of your AWS account. Third is Node.js installed on your system. You need to make sure you have a certain version and above. In this case, they're pretty much given here that it has to be higher than 10.13. So please make sure you have a Node version higher than that installed on your laptop. These three are pretty basic things that you need on your laptop before to get started with. In my case, let me show you my terminal. NPM version. I have 8.19 node version is 18.10 in my case so that should work fine totally fine now let's get the actual cdk installation itself 
To install CDK on your local system, you can get started with this command npm install hyphen g to globally install it aws cdk now, as you can see it installed these packages on my local machine and if i just type cdk hyphen hyphen version it should show that i'm using the latest version which is 2.56.1 it's the same command that is given out here as well cdk version and npm install hyphen g aws cdk i'll share this entire workshop link in the description section so that you can refer and learn more if you scroll down below in the workshop session there are different workshops for different languages to get started with there's one for typescript there's one for python dotnet java go it's a very good workshop please do check this out uh, it'll help you learn more in CDK. Here's an example where they're saying how to get started with an seed project on your local system. They're just going to quickly set this up and just get to start with. As you can see here, CDK init is a command that we use to initialize a particular project. In this case, because it's very specific to TypeScript, this is the command that you see here. Uh, let me open a terminal out here so that we can try this out together let's create a new folder here for us to initialize the cdk project into that folder mkdir sample app and we're going to navigate inside that first once we are inside that we're going to use this command cdk init app space hyphen hyphen language and followed by the language of our choice in our case we're going to use we're going to use typescript if it's going to be python you're going to put python out here and as soon as you hit enter it'll initialize the seed project into that folder you can see that various commands are listed out here there it is. We have it installed on, my lo on our local folder. Now, if we just hit this command, we can see the different folders listed out here and files. Now, let's quickly open this repository in VS Code. We're going to be using VS Code for as our IDE. So let's go there. Demo sample app is the one that we created. So let's go and open this particular folder and there we ha have it this is our sample app that we created bin has this sample app.ts file which is your default stack it implements something called it imports something called sample app stack which you can find inside your lib section and this is where you'll see an example reference of an aws resource that gets listed import star as sqs from aws cdk lib AWS SQS and an example resource. Now you have your entire CDK setup ready. If you uncomment this code and if you actually do an uh, CDK synth, uh, before you actually start with the CDK synth, uh, you actually have to do something called CDK bootstrap. Once you bootstrap, which I'll show you in one of my later episodes where I'll actually be, actually be deploying a CDK instance to an AWS cloud. Uh, in that, you can see how I'm actually bootstrapping that particular instance followed by actually deploying the resources in the AWS account using the CDK deploy command. In this episode, this is all I have to share. Thank you so much for joining me in this session. See you back in the next episode.